So one of the amazing experiences you've had is living with and working with people whose lives are very different from those in modern societies. Can you describe a little bit about what life is like in Shamani society that's different from most people in a Western modern society? Well, on the one hand, they have a lot more freedom than we do because they wake up in the morning, they don't have a job. They decide what work they're going to do that day and how long they're going to work. But they don't have a refrigerator full of food, so they have to work. And they have to get up otherwise and do hungry. their... Otherwise, they're hungry. So what kind of work do they do? Well, they hunt and they fish and they grow crops in fields and that requires that they have to chop down the trees and then burn the trees that they've chopped down and then they can plant. So it's a lot of work and they have their fields far from their houses so they have to walk far through the jungle every day. So you get up, eat something, and then get geared up to go chop down trees and weed your garden and walk a long ways and it sounds like good exercise. You, they're always walking. You know, they don't engage in super high intensity exercise every day or all day long, but on any given day, they have a lot of activity that takes them from place to place. So they probably do about three times as much physical activity as we do. And they need more food to support all that effort too. They need more food to support all How many calories efforts? would an average person in a Chirmani village eat each day? Around 3,000. So half again more than the average person? Uh, you, about that. And yeah. they're smaller. Uh -huh. So maybe twice as much actually, proportionately. Um, somewhere, I'd say maybe 50%. Yeah. So on the one hand, more exercise, that sounds healthy, but it's not that healthy in environments in many other ways. There's a lot of aspects of the environment that you would want to live in. <coughs> there are mosquitoes that bite you, and these mosquitoes carry diseases. What, what kind of diseases do they get? Well, there is a disease called leishmaniasis that is a very frequent disease that you get bit in your arm or your lip or somewhere, and it starts to form an ulcer, and it's very hard to get rid of it unless you take drugs that are not nice to take. Mm -hmm. What other diseases are common there? Well, <coughs> almost everybody has parasites in their stomach. They have a lot of diseases in their lungs and they have tuberculosis. How, how common is tuberculosis there? We don't really know the exact percentage of people that have tuberculosis. But I think that at any one point in time, somewhere around 5 to 8 percent of the population is infected. And so over the course of life, you probably have a 30 percent chance of... Um, and I get that from having looked at images of people's lungs in their chests, and you can see the scars from all tuberculosis. So lots more exercise, not too much modern processed food, presumably and lots more infections. That's exactly right. Are there other big differences? I bet childbearing is different. Well, the average Chimane woman has nine children in the course of her life, so she's usually either pregnant or giving breast milk to a baby, and uh, this has a big toll on women to have nine kids, mm. and um, they have to... No obstetrician's handy if something goes wrong either. No, I, mainly you have women who are know how to help deliver and uh, they do a good job of it, but every once in a while things don't go well. Yeah. So lots of differences. Let's go on in a minute and talk about how this actually pans out in terms of their long-term health compared with people in modern societies. Okay, that would be fun.